A pre-event press conference for the upcoming G20 meet on the 17th of April 2023 in Shillong was held today the 15th of April at the main Secretariat Conference Hall, Shillong. Principal Secretary, Planning Department, Government of Meghalaya, Dr. Shakil P. Ahmed, Commissioner and Secretary, Planning Department, Dr. Joram Beda, and Director, ISRO, Dr. Sudhir Kumar, briefed the media on the upcoming program for the G20 space economy leaders meeting, precursor meeting. Besides the technical program, the G20 SELM precursor meeting will also have an exhibition showcasing India's space activities and also an exhibition showcasing the rich heritage of Meghalaya, which will be organized at the venue. Just to sort of introduce you all to the space economy leaders meeting which is part of the G20 uh, Jen Bhagidari thing happening across the country. We are fortunate that Shillong has been selected as a uh, venue for a, such a major event, wherein we expect about uh, 28 diplomats from various countries and uh, more than 100 uh, delegates also participating, including technocrats. Uh, it will be a rare occasion and the opportunity for the state to showcase our own unique culture, our uh, uh, natural beauty, our own cuisine, and uh, uh, most uh, sought after cleanliness, hygiene, and hospitality. And getting such a high level delegates to come to our state is a rare occasion. So we should, uh, not only from the government side, from the entire community and citizenry, should present the best uh, foot forward uh, so that. They go back with good memories, fond memories, and that will help help in showcasing and benchmarking and positioning Meghalaya as a prime destination of tourism, investment, and development. We would have uh, about uh, 28 startups uh, in the space economy sector participating in the event, and we would also have exhibits by the side of the conference, which is going to be held in. Married, you all are aware. Uh, apart from the ISRO, government of agency, there would be exhibitions, exhibits by the startups also in the space economy industry. We would also showcase our own cultural heritage. There will be cultural events and also stalls from the side of media. Uh, I would uh, urge uh, the friends from the media also to really reflect the positive aspect of Begalia so that the delegates during their visit also see about whatever the vibrancy of our society, goodness of our community, and all our community-based development which we have done so far, which has really positioned us one of the topmost country in community-based preservation, protection of nature, and conservation. Uh, with this, if you have a specific thing on the uh, uh, technical aspect of the uh, G20, I would uh, welcome that. Otherwise, this is a part of the G20 presidency is given to India from 2022. You are all aware of that. It is on circulation, rotation. So this is once in a 20 year opportunity for India to showcase ourselves. So this across the sector, one good thing which we happened is we are sort of celebrating it as a Jen Bhagidari. The entire G20 is taken to a level of people's participation. So instead of doing it in one city, it is done in every city, most of the cities and most of the capitals. So that is where uh, even for this event, there's something called economic, economy, uh, responsibility and alliance creation. So in a sector like space economy, you need alliances because it's a technology is something which is naive and at a different level. If the countries can't participate and share, it can't really get into the fruitful end. So in the, with this uh, in mind, earlier G20 uh, countries like Kind Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Italy and Indonesia has also since 2020 has done these kind of events for collaboration. So this is a sort of continuity for that, which we are doing uh, in uh, Shillong. Uh, the theme of the G20 is One Earth, One Space and One Future, which is part of our national ethos, Vasudeva Kudumbagam. So this is where we pitch in and we would like to have a positive alliance and collaboration across the globe for a better future for the mankind. The inaugural session in which uh, you are all invited, uh, the three sessions will be entirely technical. First session is on space economy perspectives of G20 and there will be a roundtable meeting to discuss uh, 
the perspectives of G20 countries in sp space economy, present state of space economy in their respective countries, and the efforts by the respective governments to promote space economy, including new space and challenges faced. The second uh, session will be on awareness building, session on space economy, and third will be a, a discussion on the space economy leaders meet to be held at Bangalore. So uh, broadly, this is what will be discussed. From 6th and 7th of July, uh, most of the ambassadors will be coming over here for this speaker seminar. Uh, basically, diplomacy is only the way to take it forward. Any, any kind of such kind of alliances or cooperations and coordinations, as principal secretary has mentioned. So this event basically concentrates on the main event, how it is going to organize and rather a precursor event to showcase all the capabilities in the space economy and space uh, potential capabilities of ISRO because having spent almost 50 years Indian Space Research Organization and Department of Space has acquired self-reliance and capabilities so not only in the launch vehicle, satellite, satellite applications and navigations. So this particular message we want to give to the world stating that collaboration is not possible for future science missions where the space is going to be very uh, uh, expensive uh, in industry or uh, proposition and especially space sciences we require collaboration. So these are all the things we wanted to spell it out and India and hope to say that why economy has been added is because of the land use, land mass and huge, uh, let us say the population opportunities, huge opportunities are available in India. Now, post uh, this post, uh, uh, let us say, uh, reforms which were announced by the government of India, more industry is pitching in into the space domain, unlike India. These are all the opportunities. International uh, business com business communities and business star wars can come over to India either through FTAs or joint ventures or consortiums to expand the space business so that our economy will be improved. So why is particular chosen, the Sri Lanka's chosen is Northeast states are very very important for us because hilly areas, potential is more and the rich food is also more. Even in spite of such kind of hard condition, the space applications is the best, that is a technology for improving the social life, the economy and utilizing the natural resources. So that is the reason and incidentally we have uh, Northeast Space Application Center doing a great job. Uh, in extending the necessary technologies to the uh, northeastern states. So we wanted to showcase that here also in this area also we have a lot of uh, potential opportunities for the space industries to come, invest, contribute to the uh, economy and society uh, of the Indian community. That is the reason. Uh, the next main event will be in July 6th and 7th at Bangalore. This is the precursor to that main event which as Dr. Beda was mentioning about we will explain in the third session what we are going to discuss more when heads of space agencies will come to main event during July.